Hello, everyone. Welcome to your healing yin yoga practice. I'm Julie. Happy Thursday, everyone. Um, tonight's practice is about um, being able to sit with our discomfort. Um, the theme came to mind because yesterday when I was practicing yoga, I hurt my neck. And then this morning when I woke up, it was like really extreme uh, spasm mode. So I've been all day kind of walking around like uh, the Tin Man. <laughs> and what dawned on me is just being able to sit with that discomfort, to sit with that pain. And sometimes it shows up in our physical body. Sometimes it's emotional. Hi, Allison, welcome. And so sometimes I think that the lesson in life is not to just like bypass whatever the discomfort is or whatever the struggle may be, but to be able to actually sit with it and think about it. Where did this pain come from? Where did this discomfort arise from? And oftentimes we're holding on to these tensions in our own physical bodies. So tonight I wanna to lead us through a yin practice, probably mostly using my voice. I'm gonna try and do some of the postures and it's a great lesson in tuning into yourself and doing what's right for you personally. So if any of the postures don't quite work for your body tonight, that's okay. We're able to just sit with it. Um, so we'll begin in a comfortable seated meditation. And if you do have a blanket at home or a couple of blocks, I recommend those. You can sit on a blanket. Just that little bit of elevation can be very supportive for the spine. Sit however you feel comfortable. And let's take a deep cleansing breath all together. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. And again, fill up all the way. Hold that breath in at the top. And then open mouth, exhale, release it all out. One more time, just establishing your breath and your rhythm. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale, let it all go. Now just begin to notice the sensations of your physical body. Notice the subtle rhythm of your breath. Oftentimes we're breathing too fast. And yin yoga is a practice that reminds us to slow down to become better at feeling whatever it is that you need to feel. You know that so many of us, when we're in a, a challenging time, we really can't wait to get out of it, to be able to get back to joy. And I think that yin yoga teaches us how to be in the challenging moment and to acknowledge it so that it can be integrated. your physical body as you feel your sit bones rooting down into the blanket or the earth underneath you. And 
Let your shoulders begin to soften. And allow your arms to rest heavy. Take a moment to acknowledge whatever may be top of mind for you. Or if your emotions have been stirred up in any way. And if you have a intention, some kind of dedication that you wanna bring into your practice tonight Feel free to do so. Let your eyes soften. Oftentimes, when I'm feeling grief or anger or resentment, any of these negative feelings, I want so badly to get out of it as soon as I possibly can. And I work really hard to shift my intentions to gratitude. But sometimes, it's very beneficial to sit with it and to be in it, to come to this place of understanding of why and to let ourselves feel those emotions without any guilt or shame. To allow ourselves that richness of depth of feelings. Pain is quite often a message that your body wants to give you. That something needs to be integrated. In yin practice, we're not looking for pain, but those slight moments of discomfort really can serve us in moving some energy. Sometimes things come up for us to acknowledge, to notice, and then to be able to move past. Let's find another couple of breaths for yourself. Let yourself feel the feelings. Exhale, we'll come into a seated cat pose. So round in as much as you'd like. You can gently draw your chin toward your chest. And on an inhale, find seated cow pose. Lift your heart, slightly lift your gaze. Move with your breath and your own comfort level tonight. Keep going, exhale to seated cat. Inhale to seated cow. And just a couple more rounds on your own timing.
from here. If you were sitting on a blanket, let's go ahead and move it aside for now. We're gonna come to kneeling for a moment. One of my favorite postures to really sit with is toe squat. I know that it's discomfort for most of us. You're gonna curl all of your toes under and then sit back onto your heels. Either let your palms rest on your lap or if you need more support with this, you can have blocks on either side of your hips to push into. If it does cause pain or if it just becomes too much discomfort, As we come into toe squat, we're stretching the arches of the feet, the soles of the feet, each and every toe. This is a prime example of what I'm talking about tonight. Is that as we sit in this slight bit of discomfort, we're moving some energy up and out. Maybe it feels frustrating. Maybe your mind starts to race with thoughts of how long are we going to be here? I don't know if I can do this. And that's where the breath comes in, those deep, slow inhales. Full, complete exhales. And we don't need to judge ourselves for any of the thoughts or feelings that arise. But we can utilize our tools using the breath. Take a moment to notice where you might feel tension in your body. Maybe it's the upper body, the shoulders, the jaw. And then let yourself consciously relax those parts. Thirty seconds. Sometimes when we find ourselves in those challenging moments or those frustrating times, we just want to run. We want to flee. That's fight or flight. When we start to use the tools that we have with those slow breaths, we're able to move it into rest and digest mode, get out of that frenetic energy and bring ourselves to calm, bring ourselves peace, even while we're in it. Really beautiful work tonight, beautiful focus, everyone. Let's take a full cleansing breath together. We got this. Open mouth, let it go. Slowly come forward to tabletop position. Uncurl your toes. Give it time here. You can move, you can circle out your ankles or maybe even tap the tops of your feet on the earth. Plenty of time to transition between the long held stretches tonight. And then just a little counter stretch will come into an ankle stretch. So sit onto the tops of your feet now. Let your toes rest flat on the mat. 
and then any amount that you can pick up your knees and round forward. Start to activate this front line of your shins, four major meridian lines. You can place a block underneath your shins if you want some support, if it feels a little bit wobbly. Imagine sending a breath all the way down to your ankles. Stay for five more breaths. Acknowledge any intention you may have set for yourself. Acknowledge your own dedication to your practice tonight. I know that yin yoga is not necessarily easy. Many of us maybe in those frenetic work schedules, thinking that we don't have time. Find that time to be still, be in it. And hopefully these benefits carry throughout our week throughout the days ahead. You have one more full inhale. And as you exhale, let's slowly come forward, remove any props out of your way. Back to tabletop. Press back through one heel at a time. Straighten out one leg back behind you. Press your heel back. Feel the lengthening through your calf muscles, your hamstrings. Maybe even circle out your ankle back there. Take your time as you switch sides. work everybody let's have a seat you can be sideways on your mat as we come into half butterfly on the right so send your right leg out on the diagonal and bring your left foot into your right inner thigh if you're choosing to come forward tonight to round forward which i'm not going to do you're able to place a block or two inside of your right knee so that this way you can rest your head on a block or two. If you find that as you stretch forward, there's any kind of pinch or pull underneath your knee, I just recommend a rolled up blanket under there. A little bit of support. It's not necessary. Their props are totally optional. And we'll come in together. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up over your head. Rotate your torso over toward your right leg and then slowly begin to come down. You can round in, let your head and neck relax. for a deep stretch and also 
a balance of relaxation, letting go. to challenge yourself to go to a new edge. Tune in to the parts of your body that may feel that slight bit of discomfort. Send in a healing breath. myself when pain shows up in my body what is it trying to tell me have I been gripping too tightly to an idea have I been too rigid do I need to allow more freedom start to quiet our minds, the answers show up.
take our time as we begin to rise back up. Walk your hands back to assist you, to support you. To lift back up to a vertical spine. And let's stay keeping our legs where they are for a moment. Just rotate your torso over toward your left. And then if you'd like, you can get this side body stretch, leaning your upper body back over to the right. So getting into the side body, the rib cage. Awesome expressions, you guys at home. If you want to rest your right elbow on a block and then rest your head in your hand, you can do that. Nice, Chris. Chris is taking his left arm all the way up overhead to rest. This is a deeper side body stretch, a nice expression there. Really doesn't matter how it looks, but more about your own sensation, where you're feeling it tonight. Expand your rib cage out. And exhale, we'll sequentially stack each vertebrae one at a time to rise back up. And then reach underneath your right knee to guide it in. And we'll lean back as you windshield wiper your legs side to side a few times. Release your low back. Let's start to set ourselves up for half butterfly on the opposite side. Send your left leg out. Props that you might want to use on this side. And on an inhale, we'll sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale to rotate your torso over your left leg as you come down as far as you'd like to come down. Challenge yourself. Find the depth of the stretch.
shape. Acknowledge all the feelings, the sensations. halfway through notice if there's a way for you to soften even more oftentimes there's another layer to let go of Five more breaths here.
when the time is right for you, just begin to slowly rise. Bring your upper body back to vertical. Go ahead and rotate your torso toward the right. Lean your upper body toward the left. Maybe rest your head in your hands or any other variations. I saw lots of different modifications, different expressions. And something that's coming up for me in this practice is does the body hold on to these rigid places thinking that it's keeping us safe. If that's the case, how can we let our bodies know that we're safe to be soft, be vulnerable? that it's safe to have feelings. muscles in between each of your ribs, your upper arm, arm down if you had it up and start to stack each of your vertebrae really nice moving slow everybody we'll reach underneath the left knee to help it in and then go ahead and move your legs find your transition Thank you. 
And let's, let's um, turn onto our mats so that we'll be able to recline for this next posture, just coming slowly all the way down onto your back. Hug your knees all the way up into your chest. Give yourself a big hug if you'd like. Wrap your arms around your shins. Maybe take some gentle rocks from side to side. outside arches of both of your feet and then pull your knees down and out to the sides of your rib cage. This is another one of those postures that can get a little bit aggravating as we hold for long moments. It is a benefit. It's a great stretch, especially working into the hamstrings, maybe all the way into your calf muscles if you're moving the stretch a little bit, and all around your hip flexors. Give yourself some time here to get situated. Relax your upper body as much as you can while still holding on to your feet. Feel the natural curves of your spine. Is a little space underneath the low back, a little space underneath your neck. Integrated. 
Now let's take a deep cleansing breath together. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Let's begin to let the soles of the feet come down onto your mat. Let your knees come in toward each other to touch. And then we'll place a hand on our belly, a hand on our heart. And really give yourself even more time with each breath out. It's like your entire body could melt deeper and deeper into the mat as you exhale. As you breathe in, fill up your belly first, and then let your chest rise and expand. Hold it in. As you breathe out, let your chest soften. Let your belly empty out all the air. us out of that fight or flight or freeze mode and into the rest and digest mode. tonight to do any last posture that you need. And so this could be so many things. Maybe it's a figure four stretch that you'll hold on each side. I'll let you know when we're halfway through. Perhaps it's a supported bridge pose that you can place a block underneath your low back to rest on. Maybe sending your toes all the way up toward the sky. I have a rolled up blanket underneath my neck because that's what I need tonight. You can absolutely take what you need for yourself tonight too.
work, everyone. Let's slowly start to find our way to Shavasana. Now your final rest. You can take up more space. You can find a pentacle pose, like a five-pointed star reaching out through your arms and legs. This is another great way to feel safe and to feel powerful at the same time. Cover up with a blanket. We need support. It's all around us. And as we come into Shavasana tonight, let's imagine that we are surrounding all of this work that we've done for ourselves, the physical body, the mental body, the emotional body with a light of protection. You can imagine a golden bubble. relaxation all the way down to the tips of your toes.
slowly begin to reawaken, to integrate this relaxation, all the work that you've done this evening. You start to invite some gentle movements back in your fingers and your toes. Find a deep stretch. And then gently roll over to either side. Rest in the fetal position. And we'll press ourselves back up to a comfortable seat. Guide our hands together at our heart center, Anjali Mudra. And take a gentle bow inward, acknowledging your practice, acknowledging the light within each and every one of us. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone.